Scott. We received your question on our website. Appreciate uh, the questions. We can use them. Yes, we will help you people with your questions, or we will try to at least. So Scott asks us, can you set up QuickBooks to charge a wholesale price but tax a retail price in the same transaction? Well, I don't know. What do you think? You think we could do it? Let's go find out. All right, my good buddy Scott. We are here in QuickBooks. Yep, that's right, 2013. Got the latest and greatest, baba. So I opened up an invoice and I'm gonna go to quantity. And well, actually we gotta pick a customer over here. So we'll pick this customer and we'll do quantity of one item code. I'll just pick this thing over here and I'll make the first transaction 500. And here's the key buddy. You see on the right hand side over here, see how it says tax. If I scroll down, it says non-tax. Non-tax, that's your wholesale. Tax, that's your retail. Down over here below, I have already my California preset tax at 8.25, okay? So I'm gonna have to make sure that this is checked over here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a second line, okay? And we'll say this is a thousand. So we're gonna say that the thousand was a taxable. There you go. The 500 is non-taxable if I change it to tax. As you can see, that goes higher. If I change this to non, it goes much lower. There's your answer. Thank you.